Welcome to the Two Guys in a Cooler channel. My name's Eric. Today, we're gonna to be sharpening our meat grinder. The issue that you're gonna typically run into when it comes to meat grinders is that your knife is eventually gonna get dull and your plate's eventually gonna get dull and that's gonna affect the quality of your grind. And if you care about that, then you're gonna eventually have to either replace the knife and the plate or figure out some way to sharpen it. Now, currently, there's only one uh, meat grinder sharpening system available for your knife and your plate, and it's made by the sausage maker. I'm gonna put a link in the description box below of where you can check that out, but let's go ahead and get into it so you can see how to use it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna soak those in water for about five minutes. Uh, you don't wanna spray oil on them, although you could. I found that soaking them in water gives you better results, and you wanna be very delicate with them because they're not very thick. They can't be, otherwise they wouldn't fit. And so if you are too aggressive with the stones, you can break them, and you definitely don't want to do that. So notice there's two stones per pack. One is going to sharpen the knife, and the other one's going to sharpen the plate. And if you've never sharpened your knife or your plate before, you definitely want to start with the coarse and then finish it with the fine. But if you have regular maintenance on your knife and your plates, you can really only hit it with the fine, and you're good to go. One plate is going to have a square hole. That's going to be replacing the knife. And the other plate is going to have a circular hole just like that. And that's going to be replacing the plate. And so what you want to do is you want to make sure that your retaining ring the that screws on uh, screws on effortlessly. You don't want to try to force it in there. Because if you force it in there, once again, you could break the little plate. And you don't want to break the plate. So all we're doing right here is we're going to run that grinder for about five seconds. And that's all you need. Five seconds and your blade is back to new. So we're gonna very gently take off that retaining ring, remove that particular stone, set it to the side delicately. We're gonna remove the knife because that's now sharp. And we're gonna replace the knife with the stone that sharpens the plate. And you're gonna know that it's the right one because it has a square hole. So we're assembling it just like we did the one before. We're gonna very delicately put on that retaining ring. We don't, want to, we don't want to tighten it too, too much, but we want to make sure it's on there tight. And you definitely want to make sure that it's on there effortlessly. You don't want to try to force it on there. After five seconds of running the machine, we're going to take the plate off. We're just going to turn the plate around the opposite direction, and then we're going to put it right back. I want to make sure that I flatten and sharpen both sides of this plate. Now, one of the main reasons that inspired me to make this video is because on Amazon, there's basically four reviews. Two are favorable two aren't so favorable. And if you don't know how to use this particular sharpening system, then you're not gonna get very good results. Your plate's gonna break, so on and so forth. And let me tell you, I've been dealing with the sausage maker for many, many years, and their customer service is exceptional. So if you get it and you have a problem with it, if one of the stones are messed up or for whatever reason, maybe it's not the right size, then uh, they are incredible at uh, quickly replacing it. And if you go and use it for the first time and it breaks, it's covered under warranty and they'll replace it for free. I like this system because I can keep my knife and my plate sharp super easy. And here's the next thing you're gonna deal with, right? After you sharpen your blade, you're gonna have a little burr that forms on the blade itself. And what's, what's great is you can actually feel it with your thumb. So if you run your thumb along the edge of the blade, you can feel a little metal protruding and that's just the excess metal that was shaved forward and what we need to do is we need to remove that. And so what I found was that by rubbing your knife on some cardboard, you will remove the burr and you're gonna be left with an incredibly sharp, just like new knife that's gonna cut your meat and get it through that plate with ease and no problem. Just to finish it off, I like to do this little technique. You could do it with a piece of cork. I'm doing it with some cardboard and it worked just fine, so it's not that big a deal. And what that does is that removes any last little bits of metal and it leaves your blade perfectly sharp. The plates, all they're doing is they're being flattened. So you don't have to worry about that too much, but just for safe measure, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with my plate. And basically what you're doing is kind of stropping it on your cardboard, but you know, you don't have to worry about doing, you know, pushing and pulling and anything like that. And so circular motions work fine. When you're doing the blade, just make sure you, you know, you rotate the blade about 90 degrees as you're doing it so that you can kind of strop it, so to speak, in different directions. But uh, that's it. Listen, if you have any questions about how to use these stones or this sharpening system or uh, just how to sharpen your blades in general, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video. And if you're new here, 
Don't forget to subscribe, click that notification button. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. We post new videos every week about all sorts of different cool things. I think you're going to like the content. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.